In 2018, our group reported in the first randomized trial that outcomes for EOS was comparable to that of ERCP for biliary decompression in malignant obstructive jaundice. Since then, multiple studies have reported similar outcomes, with some suggesting that EOS is even superior. However, six years since our report, ERCP continues to remain the gold standard modality. This Florida Live teaching video provides a practical insight on why that remains the case and what would be needed to swing the pendulum in favour of EUS. When the common bile duct is dilated to more than 15 millimetres, biliary drainage can be undertaken using a lumen-producing metal stent. However, the bile duct is not dilated to 15 millimetres in 20 to 25% of patients, thereby precluding lambs placement. Also, a large tumour can distort biliary access, thereby causing mechanical compression. Given that the dumbbell shape of lambs is not ideal, an axis orientating plastic stent is required to facilitate better drainage of bile. In this patient with pancreatic head adenocarcinoma, the obstructed common bile duct was dilated to only 11 millimetres. When placement of a 6 mm lambs was attempted, the distance was insufficient, resulting in the release of the proximal flange within the soft tissue, in addition to the unfortunate creation of a bile leak. Also, larger diameter lambs have longer range of deployment distance, and this should be borne in mind when lambs are being placed for biliary decompression. Therefore, when the common bile duct is not adequately dilated, one must consider the placement of a self-expanding metal stent in lieu of a lambs as shown in this video. This technique is successful in 90-95% to of patients but can fail when there is tumoral invasion of the duodenal wall or when the echoendoscope position precludes guide wire or accessory passage. In this patient with large pancreatic mass and tumoral invasion of the duodenum, the tip of the echoendoscope could not be positioned adequately in the duodenal bulb due to tumor compression. Also, the intrahepatic ducts were not adequately dilated to perform hepatogastrostomy. Therefore, coludocoduginostomy was undertaken. However, both access to the distal bile duct and puncture of the duct were challenging. Once the duct was accessed, it was difficult to advance the guide wire towards the liver and multiple attempts by a skilled endoscopy master technician was required to direct the wire intrahepatically. Once that was accomplished, the passage of both the cystotome and the dilating balloon were difficult and required multiple attempts as the ductal axis was perpendicular to the accessories as they exited the working channel of the echoendoscope. Lastly, the perpendicular ductal axis precluded deployment of the endoprosthesis as an optimal angle could not be attained as the stiff delivery platform pushed the echoendoscope even further away from the duodenal bulb. From this recent meta-analysis that included studies from expert centres, it is obvious that clinical outcomes are best when EUS-guided biliary drainage is undertaken using the natural orifice, which is the major duodenal papilla. Given all the technical limitations outlined briefly in this video, EUS currently is not ready to replace CRCP for biliary decompression in routine clinical practice. Steps must be taken to improve technical success and decrease complications. Lambs and self-expandable metal stents, as they stand today, are less than ideal to meet our needs. It is important to bear in mind that complications are generally underreported and technical success is usually exaggerated. A single-step endoscopist-controlled flexible delivery platform with tubular stent design is the need of the hour. Until then, ERCP reigns supreme. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, 
Please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 22nd to 24th, 2024 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.